We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. It's going to be made of hardened concrete, and it's going to be made out of rebar and steel. Not even, believe it or not, it's not even a difficult thing to do. I remember, like, one time there was a traveller girl in my class and she came up to me, Bridgie was her name, and she was, like, asking me, oh, you're a traveller, isn't you? And I didn't know what to say. If, when I was younger, it was kind of like, if I say I'm not a traveller because I don't follow the traveller lifestyle, or do I say I am a traveller because I'm related to travellers, my blood is traveller blood. It's not much different, basically. It's just... Jessica gets up and gets ready for school, and I just get up and clean up and go for meshes and hook up and stuff, basically. It's a different lifestyle, like, where the women work, like in your community, the women don't really work here. It's their job. It's like housewives, so. There's a wall between my house and my aunt's house. It's commonly called the Berlin Wall because it divides my family from my aunts. My aunt, uncle, and cousins are all travellers, and we're not. I don't think there's that much of a difference. I think some people expand it to make it seem like, oh, like, we're like these complete, like, aliens and stuff. So I got my sister Jessica and my cousin Mary to sit down and try and confront this divide. I didn't get much from Mary and Jessica when I sat them down, as there is this constant fear that they're going to offend one another. This is the most I got out of them. I want to do come before that in my head. Different. Yes, different. So I tried asking Jessica directly about the wall. <laughs> you ask me that? Yeah. I'm not going to show anybody. Mary that? No. <laughs> I can't believe you're asking me that. Why not? You're going to put this into your thing. What are you going to do when everyone else is eating? <laughs> Then I tried asking my other sister Ellie, who has more experience with travellers. Because one of my parents were a settled, settled person and I started for the last 14, 15 years, I wasn't so much hanging, with tra hanging around with travellers. I wasn't involved in it that much and when I started it was an awful lot harder to be accepted and to be let in because I've already lived in a settled community so it's a lot harder you have to kind of I felt like you had to kind of prove yourself maybe they, they don't mean to do that to you but you just feel that way they're really stiff now okay what do you need to fix the length or do you do that no I'll do that off the other ones I'm making them all the same length how long is the journey for you two or three hours up like in the morning two yeah. hours that's what I'm saying to you Annie. it's like it's just them and they kind of block everybody else out in a way, travellers probably want to be separate from other people almost as much as other people want them to be separate from travellers. Like, if a traveller said to another traveller, oh, go away from me, you're a country boy or you're a country girl. Like, they take that on as a, as a, like a highly ranked insult. Like, they would take offence to being called a settled person. Hearing Jessica say this made me think of all the walls that divide travellers around the country. So I visited traveller sites to see if their walls were anything like mine. And they were. These traveller sites were normally behind industrial parks, motorways or even just estates. These walls divided travellers and kept them away from everybody else. That's when I realised maybe there's always going to be a wall between our houses. This year, my 17-year-old cousin Mary is getting married, while my 17-year-old sister is studying for her leaving cert and plans to go to college in Wales. I just still are like half. You still are travellers, but you just like have different way of lifestyle. Move around till you're touching the carpet, not like, you know what I mean? Don't pull hard now, case you pull on the dress. Yeah, that's it. 
You take Mary as your wife, for better, for worse, for rich or poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. Mary, you take Edward as your husband, for better, for worse, for rich or poorer, in sickness and in health. When I was younger, I'd probably have to think twice about it when somebody said, Are you a traveller? Are you not a traveller? I wouldn't really know what to say. But now, if somebody said, Are you a traveller? I'd say, I wouldn't consider myself a traveller. I don't follow 100% the life. So, like, I'd tell them straight out, Yeah, the rest oh, of my family are travellers. Yeah, my auntie, she lives beside me. My cousins are travellers. Like, I don't, I, I don't really care now because it's not a bad thing. They're like, Well, like, half. <laughs> like, yeah, I am. But got the best of both worlds, basically. Yep. Peace out. <laughs> Sorry.